and I are at the Starlight Run, and uh, you probably can see them behind me. I'm trying to be really nonchalant. Uh, but so we're by the finish line. We haven't started running yet, so um, this this is kind of cheating that I'm standing here. I haven't finished the race yet. I haven't even started. Um, but so we're really excited for the Starlight Run. This is actually the first run that Eric and I ran together um, way back when when we first started running, and so. Um, it's pretty special to me. It was right after our first run together that I actually told him that I loved him. And it has a lot of good meaning. So this is a really fun run because after the race um, is the Starlight Parade. And so the same route that we run, the parade goes. There's some funny people behind me. And, uh, <laughs> and so... Um, it's pretty cool because the streets are just lined with people and they all want to high five you and so you just get to high five a bunch of kids and like just everyone's cheering for you the entire race which is so much motivation to just keep going even if you're tired or it's hot or anything like that so it's pretty awesome. Um, and this year, uh, this race is a little more emotional, I think, for me, um, just because today I uh, found out that one of my um, one of one of my family's good friends at our church at home. Um, the, the husband, Tracy Zuki, he had been having some uh, medical and health issues for a while, and so today we found out that he uh, passed away, and so that's some pretty sad news, but it just, I don't know, really rejuvenates me to be thankful for this healthy body that I have and to go celebrate that. and. There's no better way to do that than to go run a race and just um, really celebrate being healthy and being fit. And if your body able to, or able body to run a race, to do it for yourself and for your health and to motivate others to do that for themselves too. So, um, yeah, everyone, go out, do some exercise, feel good about yourself in life, and just appreciate what you got. I'm gonna go run a race now. If you live in Portland, do the Starlight Run. It's a fun run. It's not very expensive. And uh, just the atmosphere is so great, especially if you're not used to running races. We've been on, we've been on parking structures. And they close off the streets beforehand. So you can come and draw things on the ground. Well, you're probably to get a good spot. This is so awesome. <laughs> if you uh, don't want to run the race, you can stay at the Hilton Hotel and get a front row seat to watch the race and cheer everyone on. That's cool too. Some restaurants, you can even sit outside and eat a meal while watching the race. So this is the last corner. And then you run there, you turn the corner right there on the track and then you cross the finish line so I'm gonna wait for um, Eric and the group and so we can all cross together um, at the finish line but we're so close and I'm so proud of our group for doing this race and I just get emotional at the end of these because you know you accomplish something and, and that's so great and I think this one is just you know, very special because of the history that Eric and I have with it, and it's just a run that's in such high spirits and good spirits, and um, it's sponsored by Legacy Health, and um, like what I said before with Tracy, um, I just am so 
thankful that I have a healthy body right now and that I'm able to do this because I know not everyone is. And so, um, this is for everyone out there who can't, who can't run, who is too weak or, you know, has an illness or a sickness and you have your own race to run, your own battles to win. And so, this is for you. So we finished the race, crossed the finish line, and now we're trying to walk to the parade route. Yeah, we're going to watch some parade for a bit before I have to go back to work. So um, hopefully we'll get to see a little bit of it. Portland gets a little crazy as you saw <laughs> um, as far as lighting the streets and everything, but that also can make it kind of hard to get back. Um, it kind of shuts down part of the city. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Last year we were in a parking structure till like 2 a.m. <laughs> waiting to get back so hopefully that's not the case this year and we outsmarted the system. We'll see. We will see. We did a good job. I was proud of everybody including Aaron <laughs> but I was mostly you know proud of uh, the other folks running with us and uh, haven't ran for a while so it was awesome uh, all finishing. <laughs> I'm having it was, trouble it was, talking and he's having trouble keeping his spit in his mouth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's what races do to us. Never mind. <laughs> say what you're gonna say. No. Just proud of everybody. I'm I'm proud of everybody too. Love you. Love you.